Hello, my friends. Old Dr. Dog back again, still working on linear regression. And in this little video, we're going to spend just a moment looking at the goodness of fit, examining the line of best fit. And remember that 98% of all statistics are made up. Anonymous quote. Goodness of fit is about choosing the line with, of course, the smallest distance between the prediction line and the actual data set. Uh, the data set requires, again, a reasonable level of correlation between the independent X and dependent Y variable. Uh, note that the goodness of fit line is only valid be between the lower bounds and the upper bounds of the data set. One cannot speculate about values outside these boundaries. Now, all of this is in text. Let's go look at some pictures and see if the pictures help. Here we have a data set. Now, we have an XY coordinate axis. We have a series of data points that have been mapped. They appear just looking at them to be fairly well correlated. But here's, here's what we refer to as the lower bounds. These, the lower bounds are, are the data points with the smallest X value. The upper bounds are, are the, is the data point with the highest X value. Now notice all of the points for X values lie between the lower bounds and the upper bounds. When we extend those lines out, that makes it a little clearer. Now, what we're saying about regression being uh, uh, working is, is that the regression line model is a good predictor between the lower bounds and the upper bounds. But when you drop out this side and below the lower bounds, or you go out above the upper bounds, the regression model really doesn't have much meaning there. The regression is for the points in between the lower bounds and the upper bounds. Now, we could draw a lot of lines, and the line of best fit is a line that minifies these distances. Look at those three lines, and let's go back. That line is obviously not a good fit. This line is a little bit better fit, but here's the line of best fit, the line that minimized all of these distances. You see how large the distances are for this line? This is not a good fit. And now we go back and we look, see how bad a fit that is. Look at the distances here. Still a lot of distances, but a better fit than the line before it. But here's the line of best fit. Do you notice that several of the points almost lie on the, on the line of, of best fit and the distances are minimized? When we look for the best fit line, we are looking for a line to minimize the distances in this, in this, between the data points and the linear model. The goal is to establish the best fit line. This is the line that produces the least amount of scatter between the data points and the model. Once identified under the formula Y equals AX plus B, values of X can be predicted between the lower and upper boundaries of the data set. Now, I want to thank you again very much for your support. Now, you're, you're beginning to build a basic knowledge of what linear regression is about. Linear regression is about choosing the line of best fit for a specific correlated data set in which we can measure uh, or predict values then between the lower bounds of the data set and the upper bounds. Thank you for your support. Live long and prosper. And if you meet a Vulcan, peace and long life.